Damn it. Well, hello, 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 Aurora here, and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Skyblock Survival in Minecraft. And yeah, episode three. And yeah, between episodes didn't go very well. Um, yeah, I kind of was killed again. Had another explosion in my mob farm at the killing platform. I think I know what I've done wrong with it and I intend to fix it. Um, but the main aim today is to improve our cobblestone generation. I want to create a much more efficient, 100% efficient and better AFKable uh, cobblestone generator. But to do that, we need redstone. So I need to fix the mob farm and grind, grind, grind until I get a piece of redstone. So let's get on with it. I'm going to need to make some torches so I can light up the spawning platform. And then I need some blocks so I can fix. You can see the broken one just there. That's where they all poured out and hit my face. Yeah, so I can fix that. And I need to get some blocks underneath that single half slab. Because then if a creep blows up, it'll just blow up onto the block and I can fix it without them all pouring out. The other thing I want to do is get some wool so I can make a bed. And phantoms aren't going to be a problem, he says, standing out in the open. Um, so yeah, I'm going to grind out some cobblestone and some dirt and create a spawning platform out right there. I could try and run the grass all the way down to level zero, but yeah. Yeah, life's too short. Um, if I just create the spawning platform and whilst I'm pottering around here, hopefully we'll get some passive mobs spawning out there. So let me make some torches and a pickaxe and do the things I need to do. So I've been busy. Uh, I've created the basics of my platform. I have grinded Grinded? Is that a good word? I don't think that's a good word. I've ground. Hmm. I spent a long time at the mob farm, as you can see from my 65 levels. Um, and yeah, I, th I yes, <laughs> I have all the things. I have all the things. I've also started uh, creating the base platform so we can extend the island out. So here is for the crops. So we get me square crop farm. Uh, three wide platform to make it nice and lovely to walk along but more importantly for the grass to spread faster and then this here is a nine by nine um, area for us to turn into our pasture so yeah i got a bit bored of laying that out um, but i'm gonna come back to that i did also remember to light it up before any mobs came which was i thought quite impressive for me um so yeah i'm going to just harvest these bits and pieces, put it all in the box, replant that. Looks like a double one up there as well. No, I didn't dig that up. That's where a pumpkin grows. Right, let's get this into the box. Bounce, 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 bounce. Yep, I'm a litter bug. <laughs> I need to do something about my rubbish pile. I need a some kind of safe disposal unit here. Right, new chests. Oh yeah, I've changed the floor. Um, at the moment it feels quite scary because it is just about safe in terms of light levels, but I'm going to put, if I ever remember to create the torches, some torches around the top. You can see I've put the bottom layer in. I've already had one creeper explosion when I had, this was full and I, it was really, really laggy. And yeah, it just took out the top slab there. So it was easy enough to replace without them all pouring out and killing me. <laughs> State of that. <laughs> I can't just leave it, can I? That'd be wrong of me. Right, so another quick successful session there at the mob farm. Um, as you can see, Thorn's armor takes its toll. But I got me a bit of redstone before I got too carried away and ended up doing something stupid. Let's head back. 
I'm below sea level here, so phantoms shouldn't be a problem, he says, optimistically. Moment of truth. Ta-da! I can make a piston. Yay! Now, why do I want a piston, you might be asking. Well, I can create a piston-generated, operated cobblestone generator now. I think. I think that's all I need is a piston. Do I need an observer? Hmm. I need an observer as well. Hmm. Uh, just check my video from last season. And no, I need three bits of redstone. Um, wow, I've got ten iron. Wow, that's a surprise. Um, sorry. <laughs> I know I need three bits of redstone. One for the piston, and one for the redstone, a bit of redstone to transfer the redstone power, and a bit of redstone for redstone torch. So, I'm going to go back and carry on grinding, and grinding, and grinding. I spy a pig. First passive mob. Nicer if he spawned over there, but you know. I have to move him later. So I've been busy. Yes, I've spent a bit of time, actually lots of time over there grinding. Because I wanted the redstone I needed to make the cobblestone generator. And as you can see, very exciting. We have two sheep. <laughs> which means I need to breed them obviously and there's a horse low horse another horse really don't want to have to slay the horses but mm, we shall see so yeah that's exciting I've got wool now I can make a bed which is brilliant I got quite carried away in my mob grinding um, <coughs> although I it says 97 there i actually was up to 95 i think and was wasn't paying attention to my health and the combination of thorns and a skeleton shooting me in the face killed me which is quite irritating and then i just got back up to about 70 odd and i had a creeper explosion incident back at the mob farm so yeah but i've got 11 redstone dust and my piston i've got 34 iron now um uh so yeah in very good shape so actually what I wanted to do is grab the iron not all the iron I just need two bits of iron and we're gonna make a set of shears oh yes a set of shears let's shear the sheep I need to bone mill some grass so I can get some wheat to do to do oh it's rather stingy chaps Go on, eat some grass. Yeah, I need to bone mill some grass so I can get some more uh, seed. There we go. That was quick, wasn't it? Just had to turn away. Oh, don't walk off the edge. That would be really silly. Right. Monumental moment. Quite excited about this. More excited than I should be. I've got a bed. I have a bed. Could it's bed the gloriousness? Bed. Bed. I have all the things I need now to make a piston based um Ujimu flip. Cobblestone generator. I came in here to make a torch. And now Oh, 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 I can sleep. Come on, come on, come on. Go down, go down. I want to sleep. Ta-da! Now I should have some stone. Which... I can turn into stone bricks to make my cobblestone generator. Right. Now, uh, I want to grow trees. 
will become clear momentarily. One for luck. So. It's quite nice just building something other than cobblestone. Piston there. Right. So now I want to come. So what's going to happen is we're going to have the lava source there. It will fall onto that spot. We're going to have a water source there. So on. So like okay, actually there. It's going to be easier. Actually, yeah, we'll put redstone there. So yeah, water source here and we'll whack a lever on the back to switch it on and off so what will happen is the lava will fall onto the water which will be on a waterlogged stair block there and create cobblestone and when it creates the cobblestone that will complete in fact let's, what, let's pop that in there if you imagine that was a redstone torch that will then complete the circuit powering the piston and as soon as it moves the cobblestone away it will uh, power it off retract more cobblestone so the cobblestone will then get pushed down this lane here and we can stand at the end with our pickaxe basically mining it um, and I'll put a water stream in here so that all the cobblestone that we generate gets washed down into our pockets Right, so half slab roof, so stuff won't spawn. I need now. Uh, what do I need? I need things, stuff and things. I need to be able to put the lava in there. Let's put it out straight away. And that needs to be a stair block. I need another block just there to keep the lava in place. Let's try that again, shall we? Right, let's move the lava. This is all uh, lovely, stressful. Let's see if this will work. Just destroy everything. Have I got? Have I got? I've got cobblestone. Look at that. What? And I've got lava flowing out everywhere.
Right, just need to get a redstone torch in there, which I can do that by doing this. Which is then going to kick off the thingy. Uh, we need a lever. On lever. Should have pushed piston out across. Yeah, perfect. Stone torch there. Those and a spot of dust just there. Switch on F3. Um, bucket of water there. Yep, I'm going to extend this by one. <laughs> Stand here. And then when it's switched on, that should piston out towards me. Let's see if it works. And I need to put a bit more space behind me. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah. Of course, put the lever on the piston by mistake. So if we use the F3T trick, and careful to hand away from the mouse, should now be able to AFK, or at least relax whilst mining. Cobblestone, in a completely lossless way. Awesome. That's so much nicer than the one upstairs. Call that a success. Well, as you can see, I'm extending my stone brick monstrosity uh, from the cobblestone generator there to here. And what I'm building is a tree farm. Yes, a manual tree farm, but still a tree farm. What we're going to have is three, three wide crane platforms, um, which gives us a good balance of getting saplings back from leaf decay and ease of chopping the wood. Um, so yeah, the primary purpose here is chopping wood. And if I get low on saplings, I can always set up a, grow some up top, whatever. So this is going to replace that line there that I've got. Now what we'll need to do is, we're going to have water streams running um, down through there. And then we've got uh, go well. So yeah, the water flows down and then another water channel that runs Do I need to put one in here? I can't remember. I don't think I do. Yeah, so then we have water that flows that way, that way, down here, where I'll be stood AFKing uh breaking cobble. So basically grow plant trees bone mill them chop the wood afk for some cobble whilst the leaves decay and all the bits go into my pockets i do have enough iron actually that i could i could actually thinking about this i've got enough iron to actually build a hopper i could collect the drops from this in a Hopper, couldn't I? Hmm, that might be a better way of doing it. Otherwise, I could take chops from that in a hopper as well. Hmm. Uh, do 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 do. So we have one here. Then have blocks there. Block there. And it flows into there. And 
that all. These boots got depth strider on. No. That one goes in. Oh. There. Boom. Right. There we go. So I stand here in the dry, smashing cobble and anything that leaf decay drops from there. So that is the basic farm. We can actually plant trees now and get them going. And here you can actually see quite clearly the uh, tree farm from above. It's actually quite cool, but you can see it from here. And what I need to do is get a little temporary lid on. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to run this out and terraform it up and over the tree farm. Um, so this will always be underground. And then the bottom of the island will form the the, the, the cap to stop the trees from growing too tall. Because they're just a pain to harvest. Uh, I've got a box somewhere. There's the box. We can pop here in the box. We can put saplings and bones for bone meal. Actually, need to correct. Yeah, there we go. And. Last but not least, let's whack a couple of ladders on here just to make it easy to access. There we go. Trees grown already. Wow. Now, the question is <laughs> do I get all advanced and whack a chest in there? I think I might, you know. I put the upper in and a chest for collecting from there, and I also put one in. Here, collecting the cobblestone. So yeah, um, some of the cobble might still make it to your pockets, but generally it should all disappear into that hopper, into that chest there, for when you're cracking stone. Awesome. Well, I think. Oh yeah. What else I've done? I've removed the roof from here, and I've cleared out the old tree farm area and the roof above it. Now I've got bed. I shouldn't worry about phantoms so much. So awesome. I think we're at a good point where we can call the episode to a close. I've built a cobblestone generator and a bonus tree farm. We've tied it up up here. We've got sheep, we've got a bed, and I think next episode I'm going to finish tidying off up here and extend the island out up over the tree farm. Do a bit of terraforming. Yeah. Bit of tidy and making it look a bit prettier. Maybe even build a house. Who knows? Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do smash that like button. It'd be very much appreciated. Why not subscribe if you want to see more? And this is Aurora saying goodbye.